this tag talks about the coverage. The coverage is gonna be bootylicious. I'm excited for this one for sure. Bootylicious. This fooled me. Hey YouTube, welcome back to It's Just Fitting. My name is Chloe, my pronouns are she, hers. And my name is Isis, and my pronouns are also she, hers. We are here today to show y'all some Walmart bathing suits. These things are trending all over TikTok. We wanted to see what the hype was about. I got everything that I could in a size extra large. Everything I got is in a medium. I feel like Walmart always has this stigma with their clothes, like poor quality, so nobody really wants to wear it. We want to come into this as neutral as possible. We got about five bathing suits. These are initial reactions. I want to point out my sweatshirt. It says mental health is just as important as physical health and a lot of the reason that we do this is for body positivity through our journey of finding out how to love ourselves we want to continue to inspire and encourage other people while you see this in these bathing suits just remember that it is all coming from a place of love i second that oh and we also thought it would be cool to start doing the same hairstyles to show that locks can be versatile i have locks so i do my hair myself and do do anything let's just get right into the video This is by Time and True, which happens to be woman owned. Love that. The top and the bottom are each $16.88. It's this little snake print. Okay, so this top, y'all, has double adjustable back. I think it's fabulous. We usually only have those three little hooks. Like this is kind of like a baseball cap. I can really wear this and eat because you know my body expands it's also adjustable on the shoulder part i think my main issue with this is just how loose apart the front material is to the back material i don't want my materials to mingle with one another this one has the removable cups too and i really like removable cups because i feel like i feel less restricted like it's not compressing on me so much I always talk about removable cups for that reason because they make me so happy i'm super excited for these bottoms everybody i love the way that these come up so high i think these are gonna fit me really well so i'm really hopeful to see these on me i think this shape looks really good on you chloe so i'm excited to see you in this too the cut for the bottoms is mid-rise brief it looks like closer to a, a fuller coverage we got the ruche here you seen our last video we love the ruche i've literally never worn snake print in my entire life so this will be an adventure me either i've seen like women in, in like snake print swimsuits and i think they look so cute on the print is just like risque this material feels super cheap i'm not sure how this is gonna feel on my body i think this might be uncomfortable but i think it might look really cute on us i am am betting on the look not the feel i think they did a really good job on the shape of my body in this i actually like the shape of my body too like all those little gold little details that we really liked are super uncomfortable my straps keep rolling and moving Probably love the shape in another color and better material i feel the same and sometimes ruching will make like a huge difference in the bathing suit this one it, it's pretty similar the longer i stand in this it digs into my skin and that's one of my biggest pet peeves about bathing suits but i like my butt in this i really i think my body looks really awesome in these this one's not a winner for me unfortunately the print didn't even save it oh well so we were about to leave the store before even grabbing any one pieces and then i saw this babe the way that this comes up really high they're really doing a good job on that this material is like a cloth like but stretchy. I like how the fabric cinches in right here and you can tell just by holding it without even putting it on first. And like when dresses, when they do that, they always end up, end up looking so good on me. This is also by Time and True. So this should fit the exact same way that the snake skin fits. This one is 1988. I love like the texture of it. There are cups in here. These are built in, they're not removable. I'm not sure if that's gonna give me any support, but I think this will make my butt look like it's popping. Yeah, I'm very excited for the cheeky, cheeky, cheek Ch cheekerage, the bootyage. I don't think this tag talks about the coverage. The coverage is gonna be bootylicious. I'm excited for this one for sure. Bootylicious. This fooled me. This fooled the hell out of me because I really was about to be out here like, hey, hey, stealing everybody's man. This is not what I expected. It's just straight. It has the curves, but in all the wrong ways, like a green screen layover. We could literally put like ducks on me. <laughs> The straps aren't adjustable, so like you can't lift yourself up, you know? Womp womp. I really thought I was gonna have booty for days in this. You know, do we have this on backwards? Because that would probably make more sense. I would say my butt looks looks okay. This material and the material on the inside are at odds with one another. They're not living in the same house anymore. The material on the inside packed its bags and moved out. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It doesn't feel itchy. It, they could have cut it in different ways to make it look nice on a variety of body shapes. Let's start off by saying I think this is so cute. I like the like the watercolor effect that it has. It's by No Boundaries and this is a Junior's brand. I did not realize this was Junior's before we bought it. So when I saw the extra large 15 to 17, I was like, dang. Hey, did you know that women's sizes are even numbers and junior sizes are odd numbers? Fun fact of the day. 
all these tags come with a little sizing chart and it looks like no boundaries runs one size smaller this extra large and no boundaries should fit me as a large in time and true this is probably gonna be a little tight you know what would have made sense if they divided the women's section from the junior section so like it would have been easier to see but that wasn't available i am also interested in these uh ties you have a lot of flexibility with this bottom has these ties too with my shape it's more straight i don't have big hips to like keep things from falling down so these kind of balls will like will they'll roll down and then expose my butt crack or something like that i'm sure they meant for that to look like a back but that definitely looks like a booty crack i think that's what's gonna happen to me <laughs> i don't have high hopes for this it's only 9.96 for the top and the bottom it's a little bit of leeway when you're a junior on pricing yes one full swimsuit for about 20 dollars I think this is a lot cuter than I thought it would be. Bathing suits is really about knowing your body shape well, what makes you feel comfortable and confident. B shapes make me feel extra confident. This is what it would look like if I didn't try to manipulate it at all. Ooh, baby, a lot less flattering. Pulling them up higher makes me feel extra confident. Like, baby, boy, I just feel like a baggy, you know what I'm saying? Bottoms for me actually aren't that bad, surprisingly. This pulls in a very unflattering place on my back. It has this double layer. For me, it's tight enough that I don't think this will fly up. This color pops off my skin. It's like spring break. I don't like the proportions. I don't like how large this part is, and it's like itty bitty, itty bitty down here. I just think it's incredibly unfunctionable. These are the kind that like, when water gets in, they're coming off. If you have problems chafing, I would have a lot of issues wearing this all day at the water park. It's gonna hurt me afterwards. The top is too tight for me. I would have to get a large if I'm gonna shop in juniors. We do look cute, but I think we can both agree that they don't feel good on our bodies. Okay, so this is a push-up. Y'all know I need some help with my titty area. This is a full-on push-up bikini top. Full-on. Molded cups. There's so much padding in this. This is like, this is a lot. There's a little line right here, and all of this in here is push-up to make my titties look great. Itty bitty titty needs a lot of push-up. So this might do me very well. This color is an interesting choice. I think the buttons just make it look tacky. That's really what mm. it is. The, these buttons are cheap as hell. This really is a poor feeling quality material, but I think my body's gonna look great in it once again. I think the theme of Walmart here is cheap, cute, and uh, terrible material. Yeah, you know, quality. This is also my time and true. The top is 16.88, bottom is 16.88 as well. I'm liking the cross in the back. That can be some more support. So this is a cottony, like interesting material on in the front and they stop it on the adjustable part and they make it a really smooth material so it's easier to adjust and i really like that attention to detail oh same thing with the tie too high waist bottoms and this coverage is it just says high waist the buttons match so you have those little cheap things the cut of the butt is just babe you're not gonna see my butt for miles like you're not gonna see my butt up close i'm expecting this to be a full coverage all the way they also had a tankini top so we wanted to get it just to show some range this tankini pisses me off just holding it makes it feel like it's the least flattering thing i could ever imagine putting on growing up i always had to wear tankinis i just felt insecure about my stomach area i didn't know what fabulous beautiful thick women looked like and i was one but anyways i had to wear tankinis like this and it's like a bandeau top across and it goes straight down and it kind of pisses me off because as you saw this one right here has these big ass padded cups. You know it's gonna look cute. It has these like cross backings. Titty's just gonna be looking right. I have a feeling. But this one, literally no ba ba boom. Just because someone wants to cover their stomach, why does that mean that they have to look unsexy? It literally went from the most extreme to the least extreme. My boobs are gonna be flat as hell in this. That's okay, but it's just like, what if I wanted some lift too? And there's no curve shape to this. It's just, just like a cover up. If you don't feel like you're in the shape for a bikini, you have to wear this and look like a thumb, a green Christmas tree thumb. But who knows, maybe I'll be surprised. There's multiple cups, bonus. So far, Walmart straps have been hurting me every single piece, it hurts. The push-up did not do what it was supposed to do. Their proportions aren't correct. There's just a lot of gapping going around, a ton of extra belly room here, but it's super tight in my thigh area. It's not loose for here for me. It's tight here, loose here. Like I see what they tried to do with the straps, but unfortunately it's not helping me. It hurts. I don't like it. I actually want to take this off. I feel so cute in this. I'm not even gonna hold you all. This shit I talk, this really looks good on me. So I think the difference here too, they did not have any extra larges. So this is a large, it's super uncomfortable. My body wouldn't completely chafe. But this actually makes my titties look way better than the other ones did because it's so much tighter it's like you could actually see that titties exist here it looks good on you it's like just like a tank top and then bottoms i mean it's still ugly don't get me wrong i'm not a fan of these buttons however i feel cute in this i didn't expect it to be form-fitting and i like that i think it's because it's too tight like this is what i grew up looking like all the time yeah who wants who wants to stop here i mean maybe you do want to stop here but but i don't and most people i know don't it's very safe still uncomfortable fabric does not make me feel good I don't, I'm not looking in the mirror like, damn, what a babe in this bright green, dark green. 
green color. Like, I'm just surprised that the tankini is doing this to my body. It's not something I thought would happen. So this is another junior bikini by No Boundaries. The top is $9.96 and the bottom is also $9.96. I'm excited to see this color on me. I have a thing for stripes. The Katy Perry song. Candy paint the bikinis on top. Sun kiss skin so hot, it's undeniable. That one, this reminds me of being in that music video. Like she has like candy all around her. I feel like a big ass lollipop and I feel like edible. It doesn't have that flexible adjustment like some of the other bathing suits had. It just has this back clip with the three little notches and the notches are really close together. So it's really not that wide of a range. The straps are not adjustable whatsoever. I don't think that's very fair. We are all shaped differently. It's difficult to fit a lot of different people in this if there's no adjustments. The bottoms. Something about this V-cut is just so cute and sexy to me. It's like they knew I was coming. It's like they were like, okay, Chloe is coming on. She loves a V-cut. Let's make this cute as hell. Like this is my bathing suit. I, w I really, really, really hope it fits me. But this yeah. V-cut, it really makes that perfect hourglass shape because it's drawing your eyes out on the hip shape, but like bringing you in by making that V go down. It's an optical illusion and I'm here for it. This is a lot of coverage. They claim it's cheeky though. Oh my God, mine is broken. Just a malfunction. I don't feel like a piece of candy anymore. Me either. I think this is such an incredibly missed opportunity. And their proportions are just the most trash things I've ever seen. You cannot adjust this, look at all this gaping. Look at how tight this is on bottom, by how big this is on top. But it looks uncomfortable. Mine looks okay. It looks doable. I just don't like it. I need my adjustments. It took away everything that this business had. The potential no longer exists. You know that sound like when nails are on chalkboard? That's the feeling I'm getting from just touching my skin. It just, ugh. This is one of the worst materials I've ever had on my body in my life. But it's really cute. Uh, I just wouldn't suggest ever touching it. I was gonna say this would work better for someone with bigger titties because it would come down more, but there's no support in it, so it's not gonna do anything. Your titties are just gonna fall down. This was clearly made with no proportions in mind. That's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm figuring. The peekaboo, I don't even care about that no more. Because what are you peeking and booing? Not a damn yeah. thing. Katy Perry, please come save me. Let me be in your music video instead, and I could be a real lollipop. I just want to be a real lollipop. I would say this is what I expected. Walmart, even though the prints were cute, some of the, you know, additional textures and adjustable straps, you know, were nice effort, but most of this was a letdown for me. It felt like a rough draft. I feel like this was not quality tested. These literally are just for the hype. I love the affordability. The price point is nice. These are not going to last you. I wouldn't want to be in them. I don't suggest you be in them. So if you want to see better quality swimsuits, check out our Target video. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to click the little bell button so you get notifications. And if you felt good watching this video, consider sharing it and sharing it with other people who you think will like it. If you've watched the video to this point, please leave some sparkles. That's our favorite emoji, little sparkle emojis. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, go watch our other videos if you haven't seen them. And we look forward to seeing you in the future.